are you still producing or are you you doing a record label are you signing artists are you working on any music always working on music i'm still producing i just dropped the album on february 3rd with um Rhett Maddox from the world famous beat junkies we got blue on it we got rascast we got elder sensei sadat x uh, trek life superstition john robinson wordsworth um we got you know uh Dilla's little brother, Illa J. We got uh, Frank Nitt from Frank and Dank. I mean, so, yeah, I'm I'm working like like it's been since day one, since 98. I ain't stopping. Yeah, 98 was a phenomenal year for hip hop. So many uh, classical albums dropped. But shout out to a lot of them artists you named. You named Raz Kaz, Elder Sensei, Wordsworth. Uh, man, so many others, man. Them, them some lyrical dudes. I respect them for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, no doubt. So let me see. Um, now, have you ventured off into any other projects, you know, by you being into education and hip hop? Have you thought about writing a book? Have you written a book or doing documentaries or movies or anything like that? Yeah, I've written two books, man. Two books done. Oh, yeah, um, come on with it. <laughs> one is Youth Culture Power. I wrote them both with my brother, John Robinson. Youth Culture Power is about um, using youth culture in the classroom. And then we had so many people ask us, how can we implement it? We did a, a activity guide. How can I move the crowd? So I got two books, man. Um, it should be on Quali Club, too. Real talk. But Amazon, you know, et cetera. They out there. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. I want to ask you a little bit more about the book. I ain't going to hold you. Um, You said it's called Youth Culture Power. Youth Culture Power. Yes, How is something like that it implement? If you could, you know, for the viewer, because you know what I'm saying? You wrote the book, you practice it, you implemented it in the schools, but for somebody that's watching, that's like, okay, I'm trying to. Yeah, so. So what it is, is understanding that youth culture runs the world. And so what we basically do um, is, is teach teachers how to center youth culture and allow it in your classroom and allow the student to have voice, right? So allow the student to be who they are. So when they come in, do they have to take off their hoodie? Like, why? What's really why? That's what they do. Do they have to take out the headphones? Like, so you got to understand how to work with them. So if you're engaging them, you won't have, you won't have to compete with that stuff. The problem is sometimes teachers get, you know, like, eh, I don't really want to. I shouldn't have to do that. And the thing is, man, this is a new age, man. These is new kids. You're not going to, you know, you got to you got to engage them. You got to win them because right here they good. You know, they got that. They don't need to listen to you. So in my classroom, I don't compete with that because I'm engaging. My students be like, they put the phone down. Like, what's he talking about? Right. And so. We teach, we teach teachers how to do that. And for the teachers that be like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Let your kids show you. Let the students show you how to, you know, what, uh, what affects them, what gets them. Right. And that's in this small stuff like that. So that's what the book is about, is making that case. Um, and it's a prime uh, book about uh, hip hop based education. It's about um, using hip hop to help educate young people. Man, that's dope. That's dope. Cause I'm a teacher. I substitute. I haven't taught full time, but I did K through 12. And I noticed some things because like you said, we from a different generation, especially post COVID, you know, I could tell yeah, kids coming in and it's kind of like a power struggle with some teachers. Like you say, as soon as they come through the door, they checking them off the rip. And if you could just get their attention, they want to learn, but maybe that traditional way, especially for the children in our community. Yeah, no, no, no doubt, no doubt. I'm gonna it have to check working, that. Man. So. And, that's, and that's what I'm saying. You hit the nail on the head, man. That traditional, like you got to start thinking differently. Um, and that go, and that's what we're moving toward. Like with with my research, is I'm I'm talking about, uh, like even counselors, coaches, anybody that works with young people can use that mentality, and I call it a hip hop mentality. Is where you come to this idea of. Nothing is going to stop you. Like you're going to figure out how to do this with no resources, no, uh, you know, limited funds, uh, constricted time parameters. You're going to be able to do what you need to do because that's how hip hop was created. Right. You think about the people that created hip hop. They had limited resources, limited funds, 
and they didn't have time on their side. They just had to make it happen, and that's what they did. Oh yeah, no doubt. Now, have you have you thought about doing, or maybe you already done it? Makes maybe like a seminar or some some type of training, hands on, you know, for the square teachers who just. I, I do all of that, man. Um, we we do um, uh, professional developments for schools all over Ohio. We've done Atlanta, we've done Kentucky, we've done New York. Me and John Robinson. Um, it's Jr. dot com, and if 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 anybody's interested. Um, so CJR right there. So ITSJR.com. And that right there will get you to us. And you can see about the different professional developments because I teach teachers how to do this. Right. That's phenomenal, man. So I just want to thank you again for everything that you have done for hip hop and what you're doing on, in the educational field, man. It's definitely an honor. I want to I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And you planted a seed in my mind. You got me thinking on how I could level up. So I definitely appreciate you, Kane. I appreciate you, brother. I really appreciate the time. I appreciate the questions, man. And thank you for your patience, brother. Oh, yeah, no doubt. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's been another episode of Taiye Speaks. Until next time, family. Peace. Peace, peace.